hi guys welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel so happy new year guys it's actually new year's day i'm doing this painting tutorial on new year's day because i just want to start my year uh, with the painting actually i'm doing a commission piece right now but i decided to why not just do another painting tutorial for everyone besides i asked on my facebook um art group i mean not art group my art page uh, what do you want for me to do a tutorial, a painting tutorial for? And then most of you guys um, answered an animal. So I was really surprised by the choice that most of you um, picked because I was expecting landscape and seascapes, the usual ones. And I was really surprised that animal was one of the choices. So since it was unusual for me to receive that kind of um, suggestion, I will do an unusual subject that is not really actually this is my first time to do this animal painting I'll be doing a squirrel <laughs> I know it's kind of weird to some of you because you you might be expecting me to do a lion painting a tiger painting or a cat or a dog painting or a rooster or something like that something really common but I decided to do something unusual not very common subject of mine and I'll be linking in the description box below the reference image for this painting tutorial as always and the colors that we'll be using today are only a few colors and they're not really unique colors so you will not be stressing so much about the i mean getting your colors so we have tons of titanium white orange burnt sienna and cadmium yellow as you can see here i mix some brown and white because for sketching purposes i want to use some light brown color so that you see the sketch part so let's begin sketching now by the way you can tell that my canvas is already painted i mean it is already underpainted some dark painting i mean dark paint because it's an old painting of mine that I don't like anymore. And I think the background color also suits the subject for today's painting tutorial. You can actually use any background color that you want. I just want some background color that is dark so that the subject really pops out. Okay, so let's begin sketching. Now I'll be using some light brown. Again, just mix your white and brown. And then let's begin sketching now. You know, uh, since I really don't grid my um, canvas, um, I am challenged by proportion. I don't grid my canvas. I usually my tendency is to really do my subject big I don't know if it's just me but it's my tendency guys that's why forgive me if um, it's too big or I might make some adjustments later All right so this will be the the tail okay. I hope this is um, a good proportion everything is being eyeballed here so if you like to do some grid method, you can do that. It's just that I don't really like doing that. Um, it's not my, it's not my style. All right, and then here. We will also be using palette, our palette knives later. I think, uh, judging by the look of the image that I am using as a reference for this one, I think I'll be using my palette knife. I'm not really um, sure. But yeah, I think most likely I will. Okay. 
and this is where like that yeah yeah I'm using this space to create some light play later that's why it's quite empty but we'll be using that space to create some light source you can actually make your subject in the middle but uh, I think most of my paintings are not really centered and I really prefer that kind of um, style because um, I can use the space for something else that I some drama right like I want to create some drama on the painting okay all right so basically this is the sketch for this subject okay so now let's start underpainting the subject I'll be using my small square brush in underpainting it so for the tail I'm just gonna get my orange my yellow and my brown Oh, I forgot that we'll be using also a tiny bit of black in uh, toning down the colors because I don't want any super bright yellowy or orangey color so just a dab of black just to tone down the color and I'll be using this to underpaint the tail Okay, now I'm going to get my yellow and I'm going to lighten this part. Try to lighten it a bit. All right, like that. So basically, that's the underpainting for that. I'm doing this quite roughly and very. Um, I'm not really doing any intricate detailing here because again this is the underpainting I just want to have an idea of how the colors will look like later so it's a little bit or uh, yellowy up here because the light is hitting the tail okay so. all right that would be the underpainting for the tail let's move on to underpainting the body of the squirrel so for that, I'll be getting my brown, and then black, and white. It should be a little gray browny color. Mm, maybe like this, maybe a little more black. It's too light. All right, let's try. Let's try this color. So I'm going to cover the face with this color as well. And here. I'm adding some orangey color up here on the ears. I still hope you can see, yeah, you can see of course. And I'm also removing the sketch lines. 
All right. Like that. I'm getting my orange plus yellow. And I just want to highlight that part of the squirrel's body. Okay. And then again, orange and then brown with some yellow. We're going to create um, one of the squirrel's leg, legs okay. all right like that I will definitely make some adjustments later because I feel like it's too narrow here the body is too narrow, so I'm going to make some adjustments later, but we'll do that later. Let's proceed to coloring it. Okay. Now we're going to create some, like for. Like that. Create some uh, fur like brush strokes. All right, like that. Okay, now I'm going to get my black. Let's start doing some shading. Like that. Now let's get a gray color. So just mix your white and then black. That's too black. Let's add more white. Okay, and then I'm going to cover, oh, that's too light. This part of the body. And then I'm going to darken, make this even more gray. Then I'm applying some yellowy colors right here and then my black.
right like that. Okay. This one, this part is actually a part of um, a tree. Like it's like a tree trunk or a tree branch. Um, where in the squirrel is um, uh, where the squirrel is. I don't want to say located because I feel like <laughs> located is really formal and not correct. Where the squirrel is, um, <laughs> the squirrel climbed up a tree. All right. So this is the tree branch wherein you can see the squirrel. I hope that explains it. <laughs> it's just, I'm just going to use some gray brownie color. So I'm mixing some burnt sienna, white, and black all together. But I'll be adding more black. And we'll be using that to underpaint this um, tree branch. And you can actually uh, make it random because uh, we're painting nature. Again, the more random it is, the more natural it looks like. Okay, awesome. Up to here. So we're basically done with the underpainting guys now we're going to do some detailing and i think we'll be doing a lot of detailing here because it's too basic so we will do some uh light play first before we do the detailing on the animal so i'll be getting some white okay mix that with yellow oops and then a tiny bit of black more white and I'm just gonna use this to kind of lighten this area um, it's too dark and again I told you guys that we'll be doing some light play today so just try to glaze it oops sorry guys And then we're going to do the same thing down here you know later this will make sense guys because um, we don't want too dark colors also here And I think we can proceed to detailing the squirrel now. We will go back to the background later. It's quite raw, as you can see. As you can see. So now I'm going to get some light gray. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of brownie orangey color. Okay. 
going to make some highlights right here also here Also there. And here. I'm going to highlight the back. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my black and then I'm going to create some volume and depth I'm sorry my throat is right like that okay using <coughs> sorry guys using black I'm just I'm just gonna make some more um what do you call this dark spots or dark hair okay like that And then I'm going to use some orangey yellowy color. Right here, okay. All right, like that. And then also here, like that. Also here. Right. And I'm going to add some hints of orange on the nose. And on the back. Let's do the eye, guys. So I'm getting my black. Get your black. And then let's just create a little circle. Okay, 
I need my black. Okay, using black, we're going to create some depth on the ear. Okay, like that. And then again, using black, let's create some nose. And then let's fix this this area while we still have the black paint on our paintbrush let's create some detail on <clears throat> let's create some detail on the tree trunk or the tree branch not tree trunk You know guys, I really don't know what time we'll finish, but I really don't mind doing this um, no matter what, no matter how much time I'll be using. I really don't care. It's a holiday today anyway, so I'm just going to do my best to finish this. Um, in a way that I am satisfied. So I'm adding some details on the tree trunks. We'll be adding some more later. All right, like that. We're not yet done, guys. This is super raw for me. All right. I'm gonna get my white. Let's just go around. I I'm going to make this area quite gray. It's not that gray. Okay. Let's make some small detailing on the fur on the tail. Using some yellow. Then I'm gonna get my white. 
I'm just gonna allow the yellow to mix with the white but I'm going to use that right here make some yellow markings or orange markings okay, I'm just gonna redefine the face And then again, I'm just going to darken this area. Alright. Okay, I'm just going to correct the nose. Because I feel like there's something wrong with the nose. So, mm, yeah, like that. Right. I'm going to color it a little bit. A little bit orangey. I don't know what's wrong with my throat today. Uh, and then I'm gonna get my yellow. And I'm gonna make some little dots little dots I mean to create that um, suggestion of uh, uh, short hairs okay like that and I think I'm gonna correct um this part of the legs or the leg i'm just gonna correct it it's a little bit it's a little weird I'm going to make some adjustments for
Yeah, I just adjusted the body of the squirrel. Okay, now I'm going to get some white. Okay, so I'm just making some tiny fur. Here and there. Just making sure that we get that natural look. Okay, I'm gonna add a little dot. create some <clears throat> detailing on the head okay I think I need to correct the shape of the mouth a little. Okay, like that. I'm going to add some orangey colors on the face near the eyes. And also here. So I'm just going to mix my orange plus yellow and white.
working. I'm gonna darken some areas now. Okay, now I think it's time for me to use my palette knife for the tree trunk, all right? I'm gonna use my palette knife, I'm gonna dab onto my white, and I don't mind uh, having my white mixed with some brownie colors. I, we're painting nature, so it's all right. So here So I'm using black and white and orange and brown in order for me to create that pattern on the branch that is quite natural um, in appearance. and I'm just going to repair like that okay this needs more light so I'm gonna make some water down white and I'm going to apply that right here Also here, also here, also here. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna use some watered down black to darken some areas. Okay. Now let's do some more detailing on the face and the body and the whole squirrel. <laughs> so I'm going to get my white. Like that, very minimal detailing 
on the whiskers those are whiskers right okay I'm gonna get my black and then burn sienna plus black I'm just gonna darken this part of the ear We might need a little bit of blue, guys. I think we need a little bit of blue. So I'm gonna get my phthalo blue. Just a tiny bit, tiny bit, this amount. I'm gonna dab onto my blue, mix that with orange, tiny bit, just to tone the blueness down. Okay, I think more blue and more yellow, something like this. This is too green. I'm gonna add more orange, white, then blue. Okay, I'm gonna use this bluey color to add some hints of blue quite randomly. And then some hints of blue on the back. I know you may find it weird, but um, it's important that we understand colors, okay? We think that it's not there, but it's actually there, especially when the light hits the object. All right, and some blue colors right here. very minimal but it's still there okay all right wash your brush out and then i think i need to use my palette knife to create the fur like thing on the back so i'm gonna use the back of my knife i'm just gonna use this method i really don't know how this is gonna end but i'm gonna dab onto my black and brown and white Maybe tiny bit of yellow, I don't know. Um, brown and orange. I'm just gonna use the back. I just want to create some texture like that. So you can see the um, randomness of the palette knife stroke. I call it palette knife stroke. I really don't know what to call it. Then here. And maybe here. Oops. That's too orange. We don't need too much orange at the moment. Okay. Just like that. So just use the back of your palette knife. Okay. 
maybe here on the face all right like that all right okay now i really want to create some light play here so i'm gonna use uh some white and some yellow so i'm gonna create some yellowy color and then maybe add some blue to make it a little greeny color maybe this and i really want some light to happen here so I'm just going to randomly apply some greeny colors here and there. Yeah, I really like it now because of the light play. going to get some browns and I'm gonna use that brownie color near the mouth like that also here also here And then I'm going to use some white and maybe a little gray, a little gray. I'm going to use my palette knife again. Let's go back to the fur. So maybe this kind of gray color. Let's go back. So allow the tooth of the canvas to catch the color. Do not press too hard. I'm gonna get my black let's go back to this area let's just glaze it with some black
let's outline those cloth cloths right the cloths of you know, like that something like this I'm going to use some yellow. And then more yellow. like that and now I'm gonna darken the claw so I'm gonna dab some dark spots to make it look natural some white
and some black you know it has a lot of details guys I must admit um, but it's really good to challenge myself doing this for the first time and yeah kind of like it going to darken this portion Oh, I really like this one. Using orange, I'm just going to make this a little more orangey. Like this. And then using some blue again. Let's add more detailing here. Also here. here and the head Oops. that okay so uh, actually everything that I'm doing now is just finishing these are just finishing touches and I'm just gonna make some little separation some depth here I'm just gonna separate the leg from the body I mean from the from the back by outlining it
adding here some orange and yellows Okay, what do you think? I think this is good, guys. We'll be adding some more yellowy colors. Okay. I think this is good guys right I think this is good so I think I'll sign this now because we're done or maybe not I'm just gonna add more detailing because um, yeah more depth yeah, like that so I'm gonna sign right here I think because it's it's a good space for signature And I think we're done. <laughs> we're done, guys. Yay, hey! Finally, I was able to do this a squirrel. But before I, I end this video, I'm just going to correct something. I don't want it to be just white like that. I want to have some depth and volume. All right, and then... this yeah this is very typical me uh, after saying goodbye <laughs> then I'm adding more details it's just me guys more details and I think we're done this is it this is it guys so I hope you enjoy this one and I hope you do this one as well even though I think I stress so much about detailing this is my very first squirrel painting so please forgive me if 
um, you weren't able to understand something, please try to, uh, I mean, you can comment on the section, um, on the comment section below. Let me know if you have questions regarding this painting and I'll try my best to answer them. So see you in my next video, guys. Again, Happy New Year and I hope you enjoy the very first painting tutorial for 2022. See you in my next video, guys. Mm. 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 <laughs> Love you.